Lovers. Here's a puzzle invented by an unknown composer and in an unknown year. It's why to play and win the game. You can pause the video and try to find a solution. Ready? Well, many of you probably thought of the idea of bringing the queen on one of those squares and then just going to the 8th rank. That is the right idea. But how do you do that? Well, queen e2 is very tempting. Or f2 or g2. And now if bishop takes b4, just to end the move by black, then queen a2. And this queen is coming. And if you don't take and play here, then you will just come and collect the pawns. And after bishop d2, it's very important not to take, but to play king g4. And after bishop takes, simply queen takes h7 or f7, whatever. And this won't be moving. But black plays bishop d2 check. Of king g4 and king f8. Queen takes and the king is coming. And now with queen a8, then this is a stalemate. And if after king d7, queen a7, then king c8, preventing queen b8 check. And this is a fortress. You can never go to the 8th rank as that will lead to a stalemate or being controlled by the king. Or if, or Trying to activate the bishop is also impossible because all of these pawns are blocking it. And all of black pawns are of a knight screen. And this will be a draw. Same thing if f2 or g2. But what if queen d3? Then bishop d2 again. Now bishop takes when king f8, queen a3, then king e8. If queen a8, then again king d7 in black is managing to draw the game. It's the same line of queen f3. But bishop e3 looks interesting. This prevents this bishop d2. But black can still have a powerful resource. First bishop e2, queen b1, bishop a3, and queen a2. But black doesn't save the bishop and plays king f8. Queen takes a3, king e8, queen a8, king d7, and black is creating his fortress once again. And if bishop d2, then bishop takes d2. If king g4, then bishop c1. An amazing idea. Queen takes c1, and king f8, queen a3, king e8, and again, black would create a fortress. And if queen d e2, then king f8. If queen a2, then bishop a3, queen takes, king e8, queen a8, king d7, and again, black would just zigzag from this squares, specifically just c8 and d7. What if bishop b2? Then bishop takes b2. Queen b1 and king f8. Queen a2 and bishop a3. If queen takes and king e8, then they get this will be a fortress. Or if you don't take the king here, and the king will just again zigzag, and when you take, you will just again just zigzag on these three squares. Unless the queen is on a7, then you go to c. And this will be again a fortress. So the best move is bishop a3. Now, again, the idea by black is same. Now if bishop a1, now the idea I get is to sacrifice the bishop. Now if queen takes a1, then king f8, and you again won't do it in time. Black will manage to get his king on the key square. After bishop a1, queen d3 is coming. Bishop b2, and queen b3. And now if bishop a1, 
Then you can no longer go to a free and you can play Bishop C1. Then after Bishop B2, Queen A2, Bishop A3, this King March will be in time. And if bishop c1, then bishop takes c1. That's why they'll take on c1. You play king g4. Now, what ideas to play this resource of a2? And then just take and now this bishop can play to b2 but this time we can play queen d3 now the idea is I mean bishop a1 with bishop c1 but bishop c3 queen b1 and bishop b2 and what are you gonna do queen a2 and bishop a3 queen takes and you're gonna be in time king f8 queen a8 bishop a8 queen takes and this is an easy one So, but what if bishop b2 then queen d3? Now, if king f8, then you can not take here. This again will be a fortress. You don't take on b2, you take on b5. An amazing move. Bishop takes b5 and c6. Now if b takes c6 and b7. If bishop takes a3 then c takes b7. So bishop takes and b5 discovered check. This powerful idea of this bishop a3 is revealed. Anyways, bishop takes a3 and b takes c6. And after b takes c6, b7, white is winning. But what if bishop a1? Then white can play bishop c3. Bishop b2. Sorry, it's very very moment to play queen b3. Now if bishop c3 then you can play queen a2. That's why bishop b2. And now again if you take then this king will come just in the end of time. That's why we play Queen D3, Bishop C1, King G4, Bishop B2, and what are we gonna do about this repetition? Well, first Queen B3. Now the idea is simple. If a random move by Black like Bishop C1, then. White can play bishop takes c1, king f8. And it looks like the resource is coming, and it is. So, what are you gonna do about bishop c1? Well, queen a2. If king f8, then bishop b2. A very important move. And you're gonna checkmate black. 
so black can't resist prolonging this and plays king f and the best white bishop d2 king g4 now the bain trying is bishop c3 but what if bishop c1 then queen d3 now if bishop takes a3 then queen takes a3 and if bishop b2 then queen b3 but king here and this time there's no queen takes but there is queen a4 an amazing move b takes a4 and c6 now if you take here then you take here two powerful pawns. so bishop takes b5 and again c6 check bishop takes c6 and c takes b7 and white pawns are unstoppable but let's go back Well, if you play more like bishop c1, then again this would be made at 6. Again this counting bishop b2. And then you play queen a8 and white is winning. But let's go back. After bishop a3, bishop d2, king g4, what if bishop c3? Then queen d1. Preparing to go like this, or even like this. And again, bishop b2. Queen b3. Now, if black plays bishop c1, then again, queen a2. And then you play this bishop b2. That's why. Black plays king f8 and queen a4 again. This brilliant idea and then you push through. Being down to pieces but the spawn is unstoppable. What a beautiful puzzle and I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck in everything and life.